Hey everyone, welcome back to our Charlemagne campaign. I have to tell you, I feel a little bit bad right now. I feel a little bit guilty because I've recruited... Uh, I don't even know his name. Is it Odo? Roland. I've hired Roland to lead an army in Frankfurt to defend against exactly this. The Angrians have marched out and they are going to attempt to capture Frankfurt and I put Roland right in the way. I thought he would have a little bit more time to build an army, but apparently not. I don't want to fight this battle because we it's a foregone conclusion, so we'll just auto-resolve, but we already know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, Roland is now dead. I'm going to assume the Angrians are going to capture Frankfurt. They only lost 100 men. Oh, they didn't even capture the place. My word, they just decided to ride out and attack Frankfurt out of spite, which is probably the worst thing that could have happened. It looks, though, like two armies have now marched into the... My word! <laughs> oh no, the Frisians have shown up. And I gotta say, that doesn't look too good for us. Okay, so Frankfurt had been uh, sacked. It seems that Aachen has been burned by Angria. Uh, okay, so things are a little bit rough on the um, the eastern front here. But at least we have some good stuff going on in the south. So we saw an army leave Bordeaux, right? And march into Agen. Agen. How would you pronounce that G in French? Would it be Agen or would it be like Agen? I don't know. I can't say. Really should have looked that shit up, but uh, anyway, the... Aquitanians have marched into this town that shall remain nameless, and the garrison is uh, pretty shitty. So I think that uh, Charlemagne's new army of 18 units is more than enough to deal with these assholes. The only problem is, how do we cross this river without owning Bordeaux? We don't, really. So we have one turn to get to the river and cross it. That will put us in autumn next turn. And then it will take an additional two units for some odd reason to actually make it to Asian. So I almost wonder, should we just attack Bordeaux first and foremost and deal with these guys when they show up? I mean, they've left the city, right? So it will be much easier to beat back the reinforcements than it would be to attack them in the city. So we will actually attack Bordeaux with uh, Charlemagne. We don't have any siege equipment, so we'll have to build uh, some. We're getting eight points a turn. So we can build some siege towers. It'll take two turns to make four siege towers. And you know what? This place isn't going to... Gonna be, it's going to be 10 turns until they surrender, 2 turns until they suffer attrition. So at the very least, I would like to besiege the place for 2 turns. It's kind of hard to besiege this city because it is a port city. We're not blockading the port, so they're obviously going to get a bonus from that. Um, it's probably best if we just build ladders. We can build 8 ladders in 2 turns. And then possibly if we are able to... You know, prolong the siege, we will. Uh, as I said, we want to be wary of these guys trying to march into uh, our lands. Obviously, if they want to do that, they'll have to cross all these rivers. Which is, I don't know, it's just a really strong natural front. Like, if we were to capture Bordeaux, we've pretty much blocked off all advances from the south into our territory. Otherwise, they'd have to go through Carloman's lands to, uh, you know, circumvent our strong defensive position, which is wonderful. As for Anselm, our friend with the uh, the Great Helmet, he is going to march into Tours to uh, keep an eye on uh, Bernard. For some weird reason, we can't actually catch Bernard out in the field. Um, he needs to be slowed by an agent, and we don't have any agents, but I would be very pleased to recruit an agent in Amiens? Is it Amiens that allows us? Yeah, okay, so we can recruit a new spy, a new assassin, 
in Amiens. Perhaps a spy would be good. I'm not sure how these assassins work. Are they similar to champions or what? I don't know. But we've got Bolso with feline re reflexes, Theodald with aid, or Louise with... Well, Louis with feline reflexes. We'll go for Theodald because I think aid is probably a good choice. Although, he doesn't really need authority. He's more like a zeal character. Although, increasing his authority will reduce his chance of being wounded. So, you know, we'll go for aid. Why not? Uh, so, we have a new agent in um, Yay, way the hell up here. So, it's going to be a few turns until he is able to be useful. Uh, so, we also have a Battle of Frankfurt. We saw that. Army lost. Pepin's chosen. We know that. Uh, I think the Bourges, West Aquitaine, yes. Faction encountered. Saxon Separatists. Okay, so the Saxon army has actually split. We destroyed them in the field, and as a result, they've created their own faction, it seems. Uh, now, the issue is these Frisians are going to attack Ghent. And I don't think we can arrive in time. We No, we can't march into Ghent. And actually, the shortest... It's going to be two turns until we arrive. So what we can do is march directly to the city and be attacked in the field. Or we can march... We'll take the safe route, actually. And we will recruit a few more units on the way. So I can see that they have some spears and skirmishers. So based off of that limited information we have, I'm going to say let's recruit some swordsmen. We really need some swordsmen, actually, because uh, we have missiles, we have spear infantry, but we don't actually have, like, strong melee infantry. So three units of swords ought to help. Um, I would like some skirmisher cav eventually, but that would be more like a luxury than a necessity. Um, we've recruited a bunch of units. Most of them were probably killed in Frankfurt. No, we've recruited an Akin and Angelim. So that's Charlemagne and Agahard's army, I want to say. Yeah, okay. We've also recruited Theodald. So now we've got 4,800 ducats to spend. Do we want to put some cash into Ren, perhaps? Increase our cloth production? I can say right now Ren is unhappy because of taxes and immigrants. So what we need is just like one thing to increase public order. Um, a manor is not the way to do it, perhaps. A market town is not the way to do it. A small city is not the way to do it. We can turn this into a song, everyone. Oh, a cloth reaver is not the way to do it. No, a wine market is actually probably the way to do it. In all honesty, you could probably get people drunk and uh, profit off their uh, their addictions. Okay, so we can actually upgrade our cloth production in Ren, but it wouldn't really result in anything substantial. We can build something in Nantes. Um, possibly a tavern. That would increase public order. Uh, I'm going to say something like a monastery would as well. You know what, something like, we want something to increase public order, but something that will also increase wealth eventually, if possible. We can build a trading post, which will increase growth. A mine, tavern. You know what, uh, it's not looking so good. There's not a lot of stuff to build in your towns to increase public order, aside from a tavern. Um... You know what? A siege engineer would be swell, though. My word. We can get, like, catapults right away. Onagers, large onagers. Um, perhaps a monastery would be prudent for the public order bonus, but also the religious, the religion bonus, although our religion is pretty solid right now. It's just taxes and... War weariness is actually the biggest one. So you know what? We probably don't even need to worry about public order in Ren right now. West Neustria, rather. Because as soon as we reduce our war weariness, the public order will 
be neutral and then anything we build will increase that you know we'll just leave west neustria right now although west neustria is like one of our commerce centers we probably want to deal with places close to rioting like Austrasia. I think Franconia has our lowest public order. Yeah, Frankfurt has been sacked. We're going to be dealing with rebellion any day now. And you know what? We're going to have to recruit and raise a brand new army in Hallstatt. Which would have been a better idea because there's, you know, walls. Um, <laughs> so we've got an angry army kicking it outside of Frankfurt. And we need a brand new army to defend our front lines and I can't think of anyone better than Berther because he is a defender so we will reinstate Pepin's Chosen and we will recruit Berther there we go and right off the bat he's gonna get a few units to defend the city now we really want to def recruit you know a defense army in Hallstatt um, and probably we want to stop taxing the place as well if possible. Yeah, nothing nothing to say about Pepin's Chosen. Yeah, let's see. Can we not tax the place? Would that appease the people? Uh, a little bit. It's going to stave off Rebellion for an additional turn, pretty much. Which is not the greatest, but at the very least we'll be able to build an army. Now, the thing is I've got a secondary army in Anselm who's not really doing anything. If he could take out this army, then maybe he could cut across. Whoa, that was Lag City. Jesus Christ on a cracker. Maybe we could cut across uh, Carloman's lands. And speaking of Carloman, can we maybe speak to him again? Come on, Carloman. Give me military access, you piece of shit. No. Okay, well, of course, unless we, like, offer him a bunch of cash, probably. He's not going to allow us military access. Now, there are a few factions we can trade with. Spilito, Benevento in Italy. The Lombards in Italy. But, uh, do we want to trade with these guys? No, they dislike the Franks. They are probably going to decla declare war on Carloman any day now. I think we're fine where we are. Uh, perhaps what we ought to do... Okay, we are already upgrading in Poitiers. Let's repair... No, we don't even need to worry about Bourges. Bourges... Um, I don't know, where to dump my money? That's the tough question here. Frisia? No, Frisia is going to be attacked very soon. How about France? Tours in Chartres? I don't know how you pronounce that. Chartres. Okay, so Tours and Charters <laughs> uh, are able to pump out some, some food, which is not necessarily great. Uh, should we just hold on to our cash? Because I can't decide where to, to build anything. See, I want to hold on to our population growth in West. Well, no. Looking at this now, it's going to be five population and four population to build anything. So we ought to just develop Nantes and build another commercial structure. I'm thinking maybe this trading post, even a tavern would be great. Uh, a water mill, not so much because we don't really have a lot of industry going on here. We could, but not really necessary. You know what? A trading post is probably the best. We'll build a trading post just for the commerce. As we all know, West Neustria and Frisia are our greatest uh, commercial centers. Well, not so much Frisia anymore because we lost Utrecht, but France and West Neustria are our greatest commerce centers. And then we'll just devote the rest of our cash to recruiting, I suppose. Charlemagne... Doesn't need any units. Egehard is currently recruiting. Anselm can probably just get two more of nothing. He doesn't really need anything. Uh, I was going to say Swordsman, but no. Okay, Berther is going to recruit as well. You know what? This is a tough campaign. We're having issues on our one border. Our other border is, like, barely an issue. We can't even do anything to the army. 
we can disrupt Agen with some sabotage. Oh shit, we can start a fire for 400 ducats. Let's do it. Sabotaging. We have success. We have burned what exactly? We burned the everything. We burned the manor, we burned the farms ever so slightly. We just kind of singed them, if anything. The, the main reason I did that was to get experience for Ragenfried, but it didn't really seem to do much. Um, but let's just end the turn. A lot of babbling going on, not a lot of action, my word. Okay, the Aquitanian army in Agen has marched south towards Toulouse. I'm not sure why. We can pretty much march down there and capture the place. Almost very... Just very nearly, if we had crossed the river, we probably would have been able to capture the town this turn. We'll continue to besiege Bordeaux into the winter. Uh, because we don't want to be stuck outside the city receiving attrition in the winter. So we will just besiege for one more turn. If we look at the stats here, we will have uh, some siege towers at the time. And that will be more than enough. Eight ladders, four siege towers for all of our infantry. Yeah, we can put the uh, swordsmen on the siege towers, the spearmen on the ladders, and pretty much whoever we want on the remaining ladders, and that would be ideal. But as I said, we just, we do not want to be outside the walls of Bordeaux in the winter. Uh, we, uh, we've lost um, Frankfurt in Franconia, unfortunately. The Angrians just went and captured the city, which I almost prefer uh, because then we don't have to deal with the buildings there, I don't know. We're gonna have to deal with a, a, a rebellion pretty soon here. And in order to combat that, of course I'm going to recruit some cavalry, two units of cavalry, and some more spearmen. Um, our trade agreement with the Duchy of Bavaria has been dissolved because, of course, we don't have a land route anymore to Regensburg. And we lost Frankfurt. We all know this. We have recruited a shit ton of units, and as a result, our income is dwindling by the turn. And as we know, a rebellion is imminent in Franconia. Remigius, um, the governor of Ghent, has gained a level, which is helpful because Ghent has been besieged so if we could perhaps find a trait that would assist us in that situation there aren't really any um, we'll just increase his thinking his, uh, his cunning that is and also the tax rate we may as well um, do we want to when under siege. Okay, we can give him the siege expert for now. May as well. It 5% really isn't anything. Uh, we are able to advance eh, not into reinforcement range, but very nearly. So here's the thing. Do we advance just to here and recruit some units? Or do we force march into reinforcement range so when they attack Ghent we can put up a fight. Put up a bit of a fight. Um, as for the garrison in Ghent, it's just four units. Two units of levy spearmen and some guardsmen, which is pretty much nothing. Uh, I think the solution is to force march uh, just behind Ghent. And if the Frisians want to attack Egahard, then we can very well fight a field battle. I think Anselm... Look at this. The Anselm of the Frisians also has a crazy-ass helmet. What are the chances? See, I I feel that the Frisians, if they have anything, it's spears. I don't know. What can we recruit? We can recruit spears, archers, and horsemen. So where did the Frisians get their troops? If they're only recruiting in Utrecht right, which is a small little town, then how are they able to have skirmishers and probably cavalry? I'm worried that their army is actually quite a bit more advanced than I give them credit for. So maybe we should grab our assassin and look. I'm not sure. Originally I wanted this assassin to come down and deal with 
uh, these dickheads here. But I feel almost as if we're never going to catch these guys. So we'll just force march our way into Bourges, right? And uh, hope that these guys end up walking into Carloman's territory or something. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to capture them. Well, not so much capture them, but catch them next turn. If they march up here, I think we'll have the movement range to meet them. I don't know. It's hard to say. But you know what? This assassin is going to head up into Phrygia. And we'll get another spy. We'll get a spy to deal with these guys in the middle of our territory. Now, Drogo will get vengeance, perhaps? Or should we get Louise with... Louis. <laughs> with rumors. We'll get... Rumors, there we go. Anyway, um... So we've got Lewis, and he can head south in three turns to capture the Gasconians. Well, catch them out in the field, maybe, I don't know, poison their provisions or something. What we need to build in Franconia is like a barracks. Can we destroy this cloth maker? And build a barracks, a garrison even. That would be wonderful. We really ought to build a, a barracks. That will give us uh, a little bit of garrison, some swordsmen and skirmishers. It will also allow us to get cavalry. Which is ideal. Cavalry, swordsmen, levy skirmishers. All of these units we need to defeat the Angrians. Although, who knows how long we'll hold on to that province. When we have a rebellion imminent. It's hard to say. As for West Aquitaine, looks like Borges is very nearly ready to be repaired. I think it'll just repair itself. Uh, we may as well... We could build a field slash a farm in Angelim. This should uh, produce a bit more food, a bit more wealth. That would be ideal. Although if we're looking for wealth, perhaps France... I don't know. It's so hard with all of these fractured provinces to try to, like, specialize. So, you know what? In Poitiers, we'll just upgrade our farm for now, just for the wealth, I suppose. And, um... What are our missions? I haven't looked at our missions in a long time. Reach Imperium level 4. We're quite a bit off of that. Uh, we can capture Pavia. Eventually. Call on vassals. Where the hell is that? That's... Oh, I like that little arrow. <laughs> I've never seen that before, actually. Church school. We're, we're not going to look at that. Three of the following church schools. Okay. Uh, is that in like the... In the chapel line? Or... No. If I remember correctly, you need you need to have like a city with a, uh, a chapel as your main... Your main line, right? Like this church here. And then if we go into the monastery line... Uh, no, 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 no. It is church school. Here it is. Yeah, so we have to have an abbey or a cathedral. So the next building up will allow us to build a church school. So we need three of these to complete that mission. We can look into that eventually. Um, yeah, religious unity. Um, let's see. Royal courts. We need one of those. Which we'll probably end up building in Aachen, I would say. A royal court just for that mission. And then we also need Charter of Modern Thought, which is this here. So I think this these missions are not supposed to be complete for a very long time. And as for unifying... What the fuck is that? You see that? Just pop in. What in the world? Anyway, as for unifying the, uh, the Frankish Empire, I don't really know how the scripting works there. Do we just kind of... declare war on Carloman and capture Paris? I don't know. Um, why do we have line of sight into here? Very odd. We can see some Lombardian... Are these papal priests? Yeah, they're priests from the Pope. Oh, I see. It's because we're allied with the papal states for some reason. Well, I, sh I say for some reason, but no. In Historically, Charlemagne was very friendly with the Pope. Anyway, you know what? Again, I'm rambling on when I really should be ending the turn. Here we go.
So, interestingly enough, the Saxons are offering a peace treaty, probably because they're dealing with their own civil war, so we will demand a bunch of cash to get that peace, because we need to deal with the Duke of Frisia right now, and with Angria, so taking out one of our enemies, right, is a good move. They don't want to pay 750, so perhaps three, 500, no. I think 300 is probably all they're willing to pay. 400 would make it moderate, perhaps. No, shit. <laughs> okay, so maybe next turn, um, on our turn, we can offer a peace. Uh, because it looks like the Angrians are going to be running through our territory like complete assholes. So I really need to get an army up there. Anselm, anyone. It's fucking crazy. Um, so we are being attacked by a rebel army. These Franks here, led by Odo. They've got spearmen, swordsmen, and a bit of cavalry. Ready Looks like we're suffering attrition. Because we're not making... Uh, why are we suffering attrition? We hunger for battle. That's my question. Uh, because we're out in the middle of the field, obviously. <laughs> I thought these guys were inside the city, but no. Okay, so we'll let this army recruit for a turn or two, as we also recruit for a turn or two, right? Um, we also don't want to march through the desert... F desert fields? The winter fields uh, to suffer attrition. So we'll let these guys recruit for a turn. Next turn, we'll march out and defeat them. Hopefully that will have a very positive uh, result on our public order, hard to say. Uh, so we've built a barracks proper in Poitiers. We've built a trading post in West Neustria, and we've demolished our cloth merchant. And we've recruited a few more units. Odo has also gained a level in West Neustria. Let's look at this guy. Okay, so we can put a point into merchant, and possibly cunning would reduce maintenance cost. That would be great. So we'll put a point into thinker, and eventually we can put a point into bureaucrat, builder, Possibly things like Zealot, Trainer. It really annoys me how you have to put points into being a military commander to unlock, like, the end. Well, no, actually, having said that, that makes sense. In some skill trees, it seems like the governing skills are directly tied to the, um, the military skills, I find. I don't know. If you agree... Let me know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what I'm talking about, so let's just move on. Can we give him a bit of a household? Not really. There's nothing worthwhile aside from these two guys, which reduce construction costs for military buildings. We are probably not going to build military buildings in West Neustria. Um, so, in Bourges, Anselm, uh, he's all alone. It looks like the Gasconians have marched into Carloman's lands. And in the south, it looks like they've besieged Toulouse. But we'll take a look with our spy. Yeah, so the Gasconians, or sorry, the Aquitanians rather, have besieged Toulouse, which doesn't have much of a garrison. It's just three units. So that's another issue we're going to have to deal with very soon is uh, the Aquitanians gathering more land. So, Charlemagne is very nearly ready to capture Bordeaux. We won't have time this episode, but we will eventually. As for our armies outside of Ghent, we've got 13 units, and then three or four inside the city who have suffered attrition already, which is absurd. I don't know how that's come to be. How are they suffering attrition already. Usually it's like a turn or two, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, what we can do is try to break the siege. Right? There we go. Uh, it looks like all they have is spearmen. <laughs> oh my god, spearmen and skirmishers. So, it's gonna be a tough battle because there's 2,800 of them. Uh, we probably won't win, actually, so maybe I'll retreat and wait for them to attack the city. If they attack the city, 
eight turns until they surrender. If they attack the city, we can at least hold the walls against those spears and skirmishers. I mean, because spears are like the, the least effective unit at taking walls. Well, I say least effective, but they're better than archers, shit like that. But the least effective as far as melee infantry goes at capturing walls. Um, the Angrians are taking attrition outside of Trier, but they're probably going to attack Trier and sack it as well. These Angrians are really starting to piss me off. Who'd have thunk? Um, okay, so we'll talk to Westphalia again, offer them a peace. As long as they pay us 300 coins. Can we get like a non-aggression pack? No, they're not interested. Trade agreements? No. <laughs> they're not interested in anything other than a... Uh, a bit of a peace treaty, so we'll just give that to them. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about the Westphalian Saxons immediately anyway. They'll probably declare war once their civil war is over. But you never know, they may have had a stack sitting around waiting to attack Akin. But right now they're going to have to think again. So our first priority is to build an army in Hallstatt, deal with this rebellion, push against the Angrians. Um... In addition, we're going to capture Bordeaux with Charlemagne. We're going to have to wait and see what these Frisians do. I have a feeling that they won't attack the walls for a very long time. So we're probably going to have to fight a field battle and attempt to take them out. What we can do is harass the army or even assassinate Anselm, which is probably not necessary. So we'll just harass the army. Cause a few casualties if we can. We had some success there. Um, and we've just weakened just a few of their units, which is very... It's not very helpful. Um, they're going to suffer winter attrition, but so are we, so that's not to our advantage. And uh, I think that's pretty much all we're going to do uh, when we come back next episode. We can look at buildings. I think I will look at building some buildings off camera because we do have 1600 gold coins to blow in Amiens or whatever. Uh, Lewis is now in the game. You know what we will do? We'll try to bribe our brother into letting us cross his lands because that would be a very good help. But it's going to take quite a bit of gold I think. Let's offer a thousand uh, ducats. Did I offer that beforehand? Hard to say. Let's go 1250. Rejected. Okay, well, we'll go for the whole kit and caboodle. We will offer them. Oh, interesting. <laughs> uh, that's not at all what I mean to do. Uh, we will offer them 1500. Uh, 1600 ducats. It's not much more, but you never know, it may be just enough. No. We're going to have to save a shit ton of money just to let Carloman... Just so that Carloman will let us access his lands. It's nuts. Like, we want Anselm to be able to cross... You know, take a shortcut to deal with Phrygia, but it's probably not going to happen. So, at the very least, we'll head towards Chartres. Uh, we'll take some attrition, and we'll march into Amiens. We'll take the long way around. Maybe we can reinforce in Frisia and then you know maybe help a little bit on this front if at all possible but thank you everyone for watching I hope you were enjoying the campaign it's certainly interesting hard to uh, deal with such a big empire when you begin um, but other than that it's going swimmingly so if you're enjoying the series please leave a like please leave a comment if you want to uh, get some updates on uploads anything like that you can follow me on Twitter check me out on Facebook all the links for my social media are down below in the description and, in addition, if you want to see another episode of our Charlemagne campaign, be sure to come back on Monday. I'll see you then.